We will have to wait even longer before astronauts circle and land on the moon. More delays announced today for the Artemis program as President-elect Donald Trump plans to replace NASA's current leadership. Yeah, billionaire private astronaut Jared Isaacman is nominated to be the next administrator, and some think he could make some big changes in response to years of delays and cost overruns. Meanwhile, Elon Musk continues to set new launch records. News 6's James Barvera watched another spectacular SpaceX launch right before today's update. rocket right now, the SLS. That's inside the VAB where it's awaiting its assembly ahead of the Artemis II mission. At the same time today, NASA's administrator, Bill Nelson, is speaking to reporters in Washington about the future of the Artemis program. Could the over-budgeted and what's been called by NASA's own Office of Inspector General unsustainable SLS be canceled? I have um, not been concerned First of all, there is one human-rated spacecraft that is flying and that has already flown beyond the moon. And so I expect that this is going to continue, although it's a legitimate question. Artemis II, commanded by Reed Wiseman, who was also at the press conference in Washington today, is now scheduled to fly around the moon in April of 2026. Then another crew would land on the moon in 2027. These latest delays come after an investigation from NASA into the heat shield being unexpectedly charred during the fiery reentry of Artemis I two years ago. Now NASA says that the problem's been identified and that the capsule is safe for its first crew. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. Amazing how hard it is to put a person just going around them and not even get them on it. Yeah. Something we did so long I know. ago. Maybe they should just go for the 70th anniversary. Yeah, let's like, target that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I have a hard time believing it's going to be by those new dates. I guess we'll. Yeah.